Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily work with reporting in ClickUp. So the first thing you want to do is just click here in Dashboard. When you're going to be Dashboard, you're going to have the option to choose Dashboards and you want to simply click here Add a Dashboard. Now when you're here, you're going to see the simple dashboard, reporting dashboard or time tracking dashboard. So I'm going to show you these two are like all free. So when I'm going to click here on the time tracking dashboard, let's start with that. Location. Now we need to choose the location uh, that is going to gather uh, the data from. So I'm going to choose the YouTube marketing channel. Here I'm going to change that. You can choose the time range if it's going to be like this year and by days, weeks or months and apply. So right now what will happen, it will automatically add you to add you the whole template and everything what you need. So here I can see that time reporting, I can see that I got Marcus Stone here, estimated track. Now if I come here and I'm going for spaces and I will click on a YouTube channel to do and now I will just simply add a manual which is going to be like five hours, save. Then I'm going to click this one here. I mean, two hours, well, let's see, three hours. Okay, save. And now I would go to dashboard and dashboard two. I can see it right here that it's going to, I need to refresh it. You automatically see that it's changed. And then you can have the workspace points here, the time sheets, and you need to wait until it's going to like refresh the data. And you can switch between the people and you can, what you can do is like simply edit it, right? So you see right here that I see the time tracking and this is just a simple text here. I can add a time reporting here. The time sheets, right? And what you can do, you can on the top filter it, you can refresh. Like data still didn't uh, get to the time reporting, but that's okay. I can refresh it. I can refresh the timer by five minutes, let's say. And automatically every five minutes going to refresh. And what you can do is open dashboard in the full screen mode. And then you can make it private or for my world. Or you can make it public. Now what I can do on the top right, I can simply add a widget. And here we have options to add a widget. So we can have the feature like workload by status, time reporting uh, that we have this week this year and you can like add a widget. So then what I can do, I can simply again, add a widget, add a task list, right? Location, YouTube, to do. Include subtasks and you can group it by, again, I can add a widget. So you can have plenty of options here, how you can like create it and uh, what you can do here tables, assignees, tags, statuses, sprints, custom, priorities, so urgent tasks. So that's something you can do. Now what you can do also, let me go add dashboard again. So I'm going to refresh it because it's bugging out. This is the problem with the ClickUp. Uh, that right now I'm going to choose the reporting dashboard. And what I can do, I can go with a CRM that I have here this month by days or let's say this year. And automatically it's going to fill everything what you need. Right, number of tasks completed, status over time, task assignee, priority breakdown, low, urgent, high, normal. Then we're going to find a task list here, worked on complete report who's behind. 
So this is pretty much how you can do it. My recommendation is also definitely when you're going to use a template and if you're going to use some templates, uh, many times you're going to have like CRM here. Uh, maybe even here the dashboards. So that's also uh, really great. Now, this is the dashboard free. You can always also rename it. So this can be a reporting dashboard. What I can do, I can simply click plus here. Go to top right, add a widget, or I can simply choose the simple dashboard and you can choose the, let's say, CRM pipeline, CRM. And voila, this is the simple one. I have the chat and I have the task list here. So what I can do again, I can go to the right, add a widget, and here I can add a calculation. I can simply add workout by its status, time reporting, So that's what you can do. You can go to tables, worked on, workspace points, complete report, activity view. And then you're going to find also the dashboard overview here. And you have option even how you can use this, right? This is a really good picture. So you can have the tasks by assignee, workload by status, priority breakdown, and you get everything you got here, right? So statuses, workload by status, and I can create work, workload by status, and I can choose active. But let's say that I'm going to have the YouTube channel, the to-do, and I'm going to group by status, and I can have by active, right? Add a widget. And that's how we can like work on it. So you can get a lot of inspiration. This is just ideas, what you can do in progress to do, and you can easily move it where you want. So that's pretty much it. And this is how we can use the ClickUp. If you can have any questions, guys, let me down in the comments. This was a reporting ClickUp tutorial for beginners and what you can do here and how we can use it and how we can use the templates. So yeah, add a widget. You can add statuses, tags, assignees, priorities. So total high tasks. And that's pretty much it. So thank you and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.